Hey, 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 and welcome back. This is Kusu Kusu Monster coming with more Legends Arceus. We have a couple of things that I want to do today. Um, first off, I've already forgotten what my mission was. If you can believe it or not. I do have some names with some of my guys. So, um, right now, at the time of a coin, what we have is we have Best Box here for Cyndaquil, and for Shinx, we have Frederick III. Despite Frederick being a girl. <laughs> um. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. We had to follow the um, pearl and diamond people, and I think I have some missions I can do. Some requests. Uh, I guess it's actually just a spring mushroom. Alright then, never mind. Oh, he's a blackboard. Uh, bottles and beetles. Playing with Drifloon. And Zubat's eyes. Alright. Uh, let's go upstairs, shall we? I believe there is something going on with our commanding officer at the moment. Oh wait, there's another request to do. Sweet. Hello. Oh, Splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see? Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots. Heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickle while they're fermenting. Hmm, but I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. Best thing would be to, for the stone to lift itself up, actually. But I've got a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Tracked Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Do you catch one and bring it to me? I'll, I'll head home and wait for you here. Where'd she go? No, wait, yes, I gotta find her at a different time. Anyway. Hello there. What do you intend to do that about that cleaver, Commander Commodore? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but, looks like, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do got the right point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the player clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't interfere directly with where, where a lord of the Pearl clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got something to do sign here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honor nobles? I don't believe I said that, though it thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you arrived. Hello. This is Kusu Kusu, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, I heard from May you earned Windir's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. 
But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamin. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Clavor before signing what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor, this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Huzui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made a Zooey fast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Kusu Kusu. In order you, I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of the situation. Except, <laughs> uh... Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Asuri region as a group of outsiders, some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? Joining me downstairs, Kusu Kusu. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Alrighty. Um, so Bug Rock. I think I have, I think most of my Pokemon have a move that can fight him. At least, maybe at least a little bit. Ah, uh, good. You're finally here. Professor Lavington, the briefing if you please. Yes, let's get right into it. So Kusu Kusu, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, not invincible even. Security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once a while. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well. Now let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clan revere the nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Kusu Kusu, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole nother world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides, the true Almighty Sinnoh that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time, by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have just been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, all amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell its frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamin. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. 
Oh ho, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometimes. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Kleber. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask for those of the Galaxy Team of old people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our own hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now it's certainly bad blood between us and the Pokemon Clan, but still, we've all got to share his Sui, and that means we got ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. We'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He certainly left quite once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and May aren't wrong. Well, weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights Camp would be a handy place for signing up towards Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. I think I have him. So I should be good. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come with? That's all we seem full. If that sounds like you, you'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment to hear what I have to say. Well, I haven't had that problem yet. Any more sexual? Teach me. Yes, please. Alright, now I have four dollars left for that one. Okay, well, I don't have... Ooh, let's see what request you have. You there! You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you would craft something using a special recipe I came up. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Thank you. Pokishi dolls. Three logs of wood. This is a recipe for what I've named Pokeshi Dolls. I've invented them, you see, as special items that c we could make in this village. I would love for you to craft one and show me. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like those, um... Uh... Uh, I can't think of like what exactly they're called, but it's it's that one that the new anime is based off of. The one that um I know a lot of people have been talking about. I'm trying to think of what it's called. About what the one guy made the all the traditional Japanese uh, dolls and the um, girl wants her, him to make. Uh, what was it? Cosplay foam? I don't think I can use these yet, can I? Well, I ha I'll have them for later, I guess. Oh, another request. Let's get it. What you want? Right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an orange berry, then run while it's distracted. If I can just get to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Coat Boy! I was just headed out to the field lands to go gathering tumble stones, but I haven't got as many as orange berries as, as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? They resource some HP to Pokemon that eat them. So, as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. See where I was going? Throwing orange berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, can I trouble you to gather five orange berries for me? I think, luckily, I still have that many. But that's the last of them. 
I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went to the trouble of finding these just for me. Way to help. Hey, you. Gosh, you're so nice for someone who fell out of the sky. Let me just tuck these away in my satchel. Only you can't just go to waste. Wish me luck with those tombstones. Oh, you gave me some revives. Sweet. Well, I hope you get some good stuff. Uh, who do I have? I want to get one of these triplins. Let's get you. Um, yeah, I'm going to place Dustocks. Do I want to use a Jadu? I don't know if I want to use a Jadu. I do not understand the stat thing at all. All right. Uh, anyway, we shall go out now. Onward to adventure. How are things, my good friend? <laughs> I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Sorbet Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. And now I must depart. There are runes that are just calling for me. Alright. Oh wait, I went to the wrong camp. Oops. Uh, let's get these guys out. Let's make sure... Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Frederick's is already... Yep, yep, yep. So... Let's do it! Let's go, Frederick! Hey yo, look at that. Wait, is that a bee barrel? That's a really small bee barrel. Yeesh. Okay. Oh wait. Silly Quill has rolled out too. Alright then. I'll get a shiny on my playthrough. Is that attacking me? Hey, one shot at it. Beat up the Zubats. Sir. So. 
Level 16. 